Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we do preview, guys, the Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference League games, guys. Europa Conference League games. So we're going to start with the Champions League first, guys. We're going to start with there. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some pre-match insights leading up to the game, injuries as well, and you're yeah, looking to all that good stuff. So this will be a detailed preview. And so sit back and enjoy, guys. Enjoy. There will be time steps description below for your convenience, guys, of course. I always try to value you guys. And yeah. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. So what minute are we on? We're on, I believe, 30 seconds. Yeah, 36 seconds. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the let's start with the Champions League. Let's start with the first game, which we have here is Dortmund, Chelsea versus Dortmund. So the timeline: Chelsea are hosting Borussia Dortmund in a match for the very first time, having won six of the first six of the first seven UEFA Champions League home games against German sides. The Blues are now winless in the last two. Borussia Dortmund lost their last five UEFA Champions League away games against English sides since a 2-1 win at Arsenal October 2013. At Dortmund, Chelsea lost away in the first leg of a UEFA Champions League knockout stage tie for the eighth time. However, of the previous seven, the Blues have ended up progressing more, more often than they have been eliminated. Borussia Dortmund progressed from five of their six UEFA Champions League knockout stage ties when winning the first leg, with the exception being against PSG in the 2019-2020 round of 16. Chelsea won the seven of the last nine UEFA Champions League home games, with exceptions being a 3-1 defeat to Real Madrid in last season's quarterfinal and a 1-1 draw with FC RB Red Bull Salzburg in this season's group stage. And of course, this game is at Stamford Bridge. Now, coming into this game, the win probability for Chelsea is 50%, extra time is 26%, and dormant win is 24%. Now, looking at injuries for both teams here, um, Chelsea currently have the following players injured. The following players are currently injured for Chelsea. Thiago Silva is going to be out. Reese James, N'Golo Kante, Mason Mount, Edouard Mendy, Christian Pulisic, Cesar Azpilicueta, Armando Broja. Also, Borussia Dortmund, Mokoko is out for this game. Mori is out. Adiemi is out. Durenville out. Kobal is out for the game. And Malin is out. And uh, Kamara is out. Now, for Borussia Dortmund in particular, this is a really interesting one because Borussia Dortmund, uh, Dortmund as I said, they're coming into this game in hot form. You know, five wins in the last five games. And the wins include against like RB Leipzig, Werder Bremen, Hoffenheim, and Hertha Berlin, and of course Chelsea. As for Chelsea, they're coming into this game in pretty poor form. Tying to West Ham, they lost to um, Borussia Dortmund the first leg, lost at home to Southampton, then they obviously lost away to Tottenham Hotspur, and then they just got the victory over Leeds United. My score prediction for this game, guys. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I feel like this is going to end in a nil-nil draw. I just feel like for me, Chelsea will just have so much pressure upon them. And I feel like Dortmund will be more defensive than, than they were in the first leg. And I feel like Chelsea will just not be able to score. So I'm actually going with a nil-nil draw, um, which would mean that Dortmund would obviously progress 1-0 in aggregate. And yeah, my player of the match for Dortmund is going to be... Mm, Oscon, I believe, is suspended for this game. So... I'm going to go with... Uh, this is an interesting one. I, I feel like one of the Dortmund defenders will do it. I'm going to go with Schauderberg. This might be a really risky call, but I'm going to go with Schauderberg. I think he's going to have a great performance in the back. And I just feel like for me, for Chelsea managers, they're just way too inconsistent in front of goal. Then we have Benfica versus Club Baruch. This is a big one, guys. A big, big matchup. Um, You know, for me personally, guys, this is probably one of the few round of 16 games where like, yeah, it's probably done. It's probably done, right? Because looking at this right here, guys, let's look at that. Um, the t uh, insights leading up to this. So, Benfica, obviously, um, they have 68% win probably. Extra time is 19%. Club Rouge is 13%. Benfica have never lost in 10 previous home games against Belgian sides in all competition, winning each of the last six in a row. Club Rouge have lost five of their seven away games against Portuguese side in all European competitions, with this being their first ever visit to Benfica. However, they did win their last such match 4-0 at FC Porto in this season UEFA Champions League group stages. Before this season, there have been 45 instances of a team winning by two plus goals away in the first leg of UEFA Champions League knockout stage tie, as Benfica did with Club Brugge. Just one of those previous 45 sides were eliminated, with PSG going out to Manchester United in the 18 and 19 season. Benfica are looking to reach the quarterfinal of the European Cup slash UEFA Champions League in consecutive seasons for the first time since 1967 and 1968 slash 1968 slash 1969. The Portuguese side have only been eliminated from three of their 31. Knockout ties European Cup history when winning the first leg. Benfica won the last three UEFA Champions League games, just winning more consecutively in the European Cup slash Champions League and the 1989-1990 campaign six. So yeah, just to otherwise put it short and sweet, guys, I just feel like Benfica for me just have way too much firepower, way too much quality. Um, I look at the injuries for both teams here. I don't think there's a lot of injuries, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, obviously, Benfica have Ristich that's out. Draxler is out. Andre is out. Hendry is out. And Olsen is out. So, for Benfica, man, um, I think Club Bruges are going to... I think Jude Club back is a huge, huge thing. And I think Vanekin is going to be important. But I just feel like, for me, Benfica have just too much quality. Way too much quality. And I feel like Benfica should honestly win this. I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Benfica. Uh, first team to score, obviously, Benfica. Player of the match, I feel like it's going to be... Um, for Benfica, it's going to be Joao Mario. Joao Mario. And I'm playing my booster as well for this one. Now we have Bayern PSG, guys. Bayern PSG. So let's go look at the insights for that game in particular. Right here. So, timeline. This is the 13th UEFA Champions League meeting between Bayern and Munich and PSG, with each side winning six of the previous 12. It will be the first, most the French side ever faced a specific op opponent in the competition. P Bayern Munich have won three of the last four home games against PSG, though they did lose the most recent one, the 2020-2021. 3-2 loss. After winning the four of the uh, first five UEFA Champions League meetings with Bayern Munich, PSG have just won two of their subsequent seven against them. Bayern have been eliminated just twice in the 22 previous occasions that won the first leg. The UEFA Champions League knockout tie going out to Real Madrid and Inter Milan. PSG's first leg defeat in Paris was just the sixth time they lost the first leg of UEFA Champions League 19 knockout ties. They progressed just once from this position at this stage of the tournament against the Borussia Dortmund 19 and 20 season. So yeah, coming into this game, guys, there's a lot of um, concerns with PSG. Obviously, Neymar will not be available for this game. He's missing this game through injury. Obviously, you also have Renato Sanchez is going to not be available. Kim Benfrey is not going to be available. Hakimi, that's not going to be available. As for Bayern Munich, Pavard is going to be suspended for this game. Masroy is out for this game. And Neuer is out. And Lucas Hernandez is out for this game. Um, so it's going to be very, very interesting in that regard. So, I just think that for me, for me, for this one, guys, I feel like this one will be a lot closer than the first leg. I don't think this will be as one-sided as the first leg was. Um, however, I still believe Bayern just have too much quality. I think for me, PSG, the likes of Mbappe and Messi could turn up in this game. And I just feel like for me, Bayern, just Bayern should just winning, be the, winning this. You know, PSG's defense looks very suspect at the moment. I don't trust Marquinhos whatsoever in big games. And yeah, I, I'm going to go with Bayern to slightly edge this thriller. I'm going to go with the 3-2 win. For Bayern Munich, three two win, and I feel like Bayern will do it. I actually do think PSG will score first though, but I think Bayern will come from behind in this game, and of course it's gonna be Mbappe, Mbappe, player of the match, of course. So now we have Tottenham alone. Well, let's look into this. So Tottenham versus Milan. Um, so let's go ahead and let's look at the injuries first, guys. So Tottenham. Have um, Milan have Brian Diaz is out through injury. Basuma is out for Tottenham Hotspur. Sassanian, Ben Toko, or Loris is out. Now, I believe um, Eric Dyer is also out for Spurs as well. So, Tottenham Milan. Let's look at the insights coming into win probability. Tottenham is 49% to win. Extra time is 26%. Milan, 25%. Insights. Tottenham's 1 0 defeat in the first leg was the first defeat in five meetings with AC Milan. Um, and your all-year being considered two previous home games against them finished 2-1 and 0-0. Milan only won one of the 21 away games against English sides all competition, beating Manchester United 1-0 at Old Trafford February 2005. They lost, their, they lost their last three visits to London by an aggregate score of 9-1. Tottenham pro have progressed from two of their last European ties when losing first leg, doing so against Ajax in the 2018-2019 UEFA Champions League semifinal and against Pacos de Ferreira in qualifying for 2021-2022 Europa Conference League. AC Milan have been eliminated from three of their 21 uh, previous European Cup slash UEFA Champions League knockout ties when winning the first leg, going out to Feyenoord, Deportivo de la Coruña, and Barcelona. Tottenham have lost four of the last six home U matches in UEFA Champions League knockout, stage tie, knockout stages, including each of the last two, for Ajax and RB Leipzig. For this prediction, guys, it's a very difficult one to call, guys. It's a very difficult one because with Tottenham, and guys, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect with this club. That being said, I still do think Milan. I actually think Milan might be the favorites here for this one because I feel like for me, Magnon being back from injury is a huge, huge positive. And I just feel like for me, Milan just look a lot more solid at the moment. They look a lot more consistent. Whereas for Spurs, they look a lot more like, wish look a lot more, you know, um, inconsistent. They're very difficult to gauge. So I'm going to go with the 1-1 one, one draw for this game. Um, and I do feel like Tottenham will actually score first, but I feel like, Milan will pick themselves back up in the game, and I'm going to go with Harry Kane to score the um, Harry Kane to be the well, actually a player. Of the, yeah, you know what? I'll say Harry Kane. I'll say Harry Kane, guys. So these are my Champions League matches, guys. So we're going to go ahead and swiftly move on to the Europa League. 
um, and let's go ahead and do this, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're at 10 minutes, man. 10 minutes for the Europa League. UEL. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go. We don't have insights for all the, uh, we don't have insights, for unfortunately, for all the, the games. So we're going to go ahead and just tell you the injuries and suspensions. So let's start with the first game, which we have is Roma Real Sociedad. For this game, Darabo is out for Roma. And Real Sociedad, Omar Sadiq, Martin McClues, and Ortiz El Stono is out. For this game, guys, I'm going to go with the draw. Um, Roma, for me, they are a good team. It's just that I feel like for me with Roma, they're just not really that great. Um, I just don't really feel like this team is that well organized. And they did just come off the win against Juventus, which is impressive. You know, Mancini scoring the stunning goal. But I feel like Real Sociedad will bunker down. And I feel like Roma will be um, Real Sociedad to be more positive with this result. So I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw for this game. And that's my prediction. So I'm going to go with Roma to score first, though. And, but Real Sociedad had to peg back. So I'm going to go with Roma. So who's going to score the opening goal? I'm going to say it's going to be Paulo Di Bella. Where is Di Bella? Where is he yet? Paulo Di Bella. Okay, then we have Sporting versus Arsenal. It's a very interesting one here, guys. Sporting versus Arsenal. Um, it's a big one. Obviously, Sporting have Braganica that's out. For Arsenal, you have El Neni that's out. Jesus is out. And Enkets Edward Enkitia is out. For this one, guys, I think Arsenal is just looking really good at the moment. They're def they're looking amazing as a unit. Um, defensively, though, they look a little bit vulnerable, and they could play their second string team in this game, which I wouldn't be surprised. That being said, I'm still going to go with Arsenal, just about to win this, but it's going to be close. I'm going to go with the two one win for Arsenal, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Sporting make things competitive and maybe potentially win this game or even get a draw at the most. So I'm going to go with uh, Arsenal to win, and I just have a feeling that um we're going to see. I don't know why. I just have this feeling we're going to see Reese Nelson score the opening goal. You know, just came on as a substitute on the last game and um, obviously scored that last goal at the last minute against Bournemouth. And so I'm going to go with him. Where is Reese Nelson, though? Why is he? Is he not registered? Hold up. Where is he? Oh, Reese Nelson's right there. Okay. Then we got Leverkusen versus versus Ferenc Varos, guys. I feel like for me, Leverkusen just have way too much quality uh, for this one. Although I wouldn't count on Ferenc Varos because, like I said, what they did in the group stage was very commendable. You know, you have the likes of Bakker that's suspended for Pong. Oh, well, Bakker's not suspended, but he's out. Uh, for Pong and Arun Gies and Lunev is out. So, for this one, guys, I'm going to go with Bayer Leverkusen to win this. It's going to be close, I would just say, but I think Bayer Leverkusen should do it. I'm going to go with the 3-1 win for Leverkusen. And um, I'm going to go with my goal scorer, the first goal scorer to be. I'm going to go with um, Wurtz. I'm going to go with Wurtz. Actually, I'm going to go with um, Amari. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with Amari. And I might play my, I'm tempted to play my booster for that one. You know, I think I might play my booster for that one. Okay, then we have Union Berlin versus Union St. Gloss. This is going to be a very interesting game, guys. Obviously, two teams met against each other in the group stage. Both teams winning the away fixture 1-0 respectively. And so it's going to be very, very interesting there. All players that are going to be out for this game is Gilsemann is going to be out. Royston is out. Schaffer is out for Berlin. As for Union St. Gloss, Dennis Eckert is out. For this prediction, guys, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Union Berlin. I think they're going to get the job done. I could see maybe Becker scoring the goal. Maybe even Peefcock scoring the goal. Um, but it's going to be close. So, Union St. Gloss obviously will be very defensively sound, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go with Becker to score the opening goal. Then we got Shakhtar versus Feyenoord. Um, for this one, guys, I am going to go... Uh, let's go look at the injuries for both teams. So, Shakhtar, Feyenoord... So, uh, Shakhtar have no injuries. Feyenoord have Timber and Welmuk and Bilho. That's out for this game. So, for this one, guys, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to play... I'm going to say a 2-2 draw. I think I'm gonna, it's going to be a high-scoring game. And I think Feyenoord will be the better team. Um, but I think Feyenoord should be the more content with the two teams. So, I'm going to go with the goal scorers. I'm going to go with... Um, Santiago Jimenez, I'll go with him as my goal scorer. Okay. Now, Man United versus Real Batiste. Um, this one's going to be very interesting. Obviously, Man United coming off a heavy defeat to Liverpool on the weekend. You guys can check the live stream out. I did that on the match reaction. Um, anyways, for this one, guys, Van de Beek is going to be out. Eriksen's going to be out. And Martial is out. So, Martial is although back in training. So, he might make an appearance in this game. As for Real Batiste, Canelis is out. Nabil Fakir is out. Juan Cruz is out. For this game, guys, I'm going to go with a 2-0 Manchester United win. Real Batiste, as good as they are, they are a great team. It's just I feel like their goal scoring is really... They just don't have those goal scores, in my opinion. And I feel like Fikir is such an important part for this team. So 
I'm going to go with United to win. And they should honestly be winning this. Um, but yeah, we'll see how much the margin is going to be. And I'm going to go with uh, Marcus Rashford to score, of course. Um, then we have Juventus versus Freiburg, guys. It's going to be very, very interesting here to see what happens. Juventus, um, injuries-wise, they have De Sigilo that's out. Ke Jorge is out. Milik is out. And for Freiburg, Girsch is out. And Daniel Kofi carries out. So, for this one, guys, I think it's going to be a very cagey match. I don't really expect a lot of goals in this one, guys. Juventus has been... They're um difficult. They're defensively sound, I would say. And I think Freiburg is also de defensively solid as well. And I'm going to go with Juve just to edge this one out. 1-0 at home. So, I'm going to go with Juve to win this 1-0 at home. And let's be real. They really should be winning this. So, I'm going to go with Di Maria um, to score the opening goal. And then Sevilla versus Ferrambache. Probably the most interesting one of the fixtures, in my opinion. Potentially upset. Sevilla, Marco is out. Loco Badi is out. Rekic is out. Jesus Corona is out. Alejandro Gomez. Bashoe is out for Ferrambache. Luan Perez. Gustavo Enrique. And Aliuske is out. Um, for this one, guys, I am going to go with... Um, I am going to go with... I think I'm going to go with a a narrow win to Sevilla. I think Sevilla will just about win the first leg. I'm not going to say they're going to win 2-1. 2-1. I'm going to say they win 2-1, but it's going to be close. Something tells me Farron Bacci might pick up a draw, but I think Sevilla will win the first leg being at home. And yeah, so I'm going to go use him in Naziri to score the opening goal. So those are my Europa League predictions, guys. Europa League predictions, so... Very interesting there. Let's go ahead and move on to the Conference League. Conference League. So we're at 16.35, I believe. Okay. So let's go into this. So we have Lazio AZ Alkmaar. Now, this is the early kickoff game. That's going to be on Tuesday. Um, It's not on the other days of Thursday. So that's very interesting there. Um, Let's go ahead and look into that. So let's go look at the matches. Uh, why isn't it loading? Why is my thing not loading? What the heck? Okay, now it's loading. It's now it's loading. Let's go. Uh, so Lazio versus AZ Alkmaar. Now AZ have so many injuries. Vanagis is out. Bustover is out. Bokuma is out. Buzzer is out. Zeker is out. Dewey is out. And Indy is out. For this one, guys, I think Lazio should be winning, guys. They just have too much quality, and I expect them to win. I'm going to say two goals to nil. They should be winning this. And I'm going to go with Milinkovic Savage to score the opening goal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with um, Pedro. Pedro Rodriguez. Maybe Zach Ingi. Andrew Lake versus Villa Real. Um, this one's gonna be interesting, guys. Let's be real. Um, this one's gonna be interesting. Let's see. So Andrew Lake have Kana that's out. De Coris is out. And for Villa Real, yeah, Coquelin that's out. I mean, let's be real. Andrew Lake, I mean, Villa Real should be winning this. I'm gonna go with Villa Real to win this. I'm gonna say they win this two one on the road. Oh my god, I put five one. I meant to put two one, not five one. Um, and then I'm gonna go with Villa Real to score, and I'm gonna go with them to win. And they really should honestly be winning this. Um, I'm going to go with Nicholas to score. Maybe Jeremy Pino might score, but yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with Nicholas to score. The Sheriff versus Nice, guys. Very, very interesting one here. I think this will be very difficult for Nice, especially this being on the road. But I do believe Nice should have enough quality. Pepe is out. Barry's out. Barron's out. Antoine Mende and Aaron Ramsey is out. For this one, guys, I'm going to go with a nil-nil draw, which makes things very interesting for the second leg. To happen, so I'm gonna go the nil nil draw there. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna go the nil nil draw. Then AK Lernica uh, versus West Ham. Um, this is gonna be very, very interesting here, guys. So, where is AK Lernica? Yeah, yeah, so West Ham, uh, Kofal is out, Cornet is out, Fabianski is out. Let's be real, West Ham should be winning this though. So, I'm gonna go with them to win two goals to nil on the road, and I'm gonna go with, yeah, I'm gonna go with them to win. And who's gonna score the opening goal? I'm gonna say. It's going to be Mikkel on two. Actually, I'm going to say Jared Bowen's going to score. Um, and yeah. So yeah, then we have Gen versus Istanbul by Shakshi here. I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. I think I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Injuries. Actually, hold up. Let me look at the injuries real quick. Uh, Ghent. They have Tosudi that's out. Lamej is out. Hoogsker is out. I just feel like for me, guys, it'll be a back and forth game. I feel like Ghent will score first because they're at the home. Um, they're the home team, and I'm gonna go with them to score first, and I'm gonna go with Ghent. Uh, I'm gonna go with Hank Hong to score first, and maybe Yanazai to equalize for Istanbul. Then Basel versus Slovenia and Batistable. I am gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a one-one draw as well. A one-one draw. Um, I feel like for me, even though Basel should win this, I feel like Slovenia will equalize, and yeah, so I'm gonna go with Basel. 
to uh, score. I'm gonna go with Malice. Malice to score the opening goal. Actually, look at the injuries. This one, you have two more games. So Basel, they have Kajaka that's out, Comas is out, and Kaki Koki is out. Now the last two games we have Lech Pozon versus George Gadon and Fiorentina versus Sivaspor. So let's start with Lech Pozon versus George Gadon. Um, for this one, guys, Atka is out. So I'm gonna go for this one, guys, as I'm gonna go with a one nil win to I'm gonna go with George Gadon. I think George Gadon will just about win this game. Uh, I feel like they've been good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with the one one draw. Actually, um, one one draw. But I do think George Gunnar will score first, though. Um, and I think Berg will score the opening goal for them. Then Fiorentina versus Sivaspor. Actually, I might play my booster on this one. Um, Fiorentina, they have Terzic is out. Yaklin is out. Yatabri is out. Osa Minfisa. I think Fiorentina, man, they just have too much quality with Luka Jovic and um, etc. And I think Fiorentina should be winning this. So I'm going to go with Fiorentina. Um, my first player to score. I'm going to go with Luka Jovic to score the first goal. Arthur Krabal has also been really good for them. And yeah, so I, you know what? I might, I might play my booster for this one. So, anyways, I think that's my predictions for the European competitions. Let me know what your predictions are in the comment section below. If you're new on here, considering that subscribe button, like this video, enjoy. Um, hold up, wait. Did I skip a game? Hold up, did I skip a game? It says 14 out of 16, though. I'm super confused. I didn't skip a game, I don't think. Wait. Did I skip a game? Wait. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just an error on the thing because, like, one, two, three. Yeah, it's it's probably an error. Anyways, um, so thank you guys for watching today's video. Like, sure, guys, if you do, if you're new on here, consider that subscribe and like to be enjoy. Comment below your thoughts, comment below, and yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.